Well, here we are back in Mittenron, in uh, continuing to work at uh, Mundell, Mordell rather. It's, um, it's not been done since last time. Um, a lot further, further in. I think most of all, all of this was in place. And I'm fairly happy with it. I think there's some work on the actual ground that needs to be done. I have done a little bit, putting in the old bit of greenery, putting in some of the dirt, things like this. I think I need to put in some water, just little puddles spread around. You'll see uh, in a minute I've taken advantage of some uh, existing pools in the desert and uh, dress them up. So I've um, obviously put in many more trees, uh, built up the temple. It's, it's not finished. The internal needs a lot of work and the external is kind of going in the right direction but it does still need finishing off. Um, I kind of enjoy this more than I do building tree after tree after tree and I'm using working on this as a way to break up building all of the trees. And the same will go for this building over here. So um, these are going to take a little while to actually be finished properly. Um, I've obviously converted more of the desert. Um, there will pro probably be trees all the way down to around about here. Um, there's some interesting stuff on the ground that I'm going to have to uh, figure out what I'm doing with. Um, uh, zip go. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, as I've mentioned before, I've been looking for a place called Dagath's Cradle, or what will be called Dagath's Cradle. Um, but this being Dagath over here, um, there are a couple of contenders now, uh, three I think. Um, there is an opening here that leads down to a fairly decent area. Um, and then uh, definitely the, the one that I was just looking at is another strong contender, um, particularly because it's a big open space and it's fairly near the surface, which is nice. Minimize the amount of work that I have to do. Um, and then the other one is, I think, off of this ravine. Yeah. Is um, it's it's not very big, not compared to the other one. Um, it's possible that this could be Dagath's cradle, and that the other place is maybe where the um, uh, the father of the elements, as is known at the moment, um, where where he came from. Um, the statue of him is is basically what I started looking at. Um, I forget how far I've come sometimes. It's like, oh right, yeah, it's all the way over here now. So yeah, this is the father of the elements. So, yeah. It, it, but it's a bit repetitive, so I'm a little hazy on really where I want to go with that side of things. But, um, you know, for now I'm, I'm really just focused on, on doing the build. Uh, it's not really going to affect very much in that respect, certainly not the above ground parts. The um, the plan is for this to be potentially turned to um, a black concrete powder. Um, 
at least part of it, maybe this area, something to suggest burning. Um, I've been wondering whether maybe this is where all four elements, elemental lords were born. So, you know, this could be flooded and be the birthplace of the water element. And then Dagaths could be in that secondary location, maybe down in the, um, in the ravine. And then, um, you know, far from here. And uh, I suppose the air should probably come from the top of a mountain, I suppose. Something along those lines. And, uh, but yeah, so, don't mind my Alexa. Decided to convert most of the sand left here to uh, gravel. Makes the dirt look a little weird, but it really wasn't really working with the sand. It's too bright compared to the earthy colours that are going on here. Um, even had to kind of do it with this as well. Um, I'm not sure how much of this is going to remain. This obviously needs decorating, but um, structurally mostly done. There is an internal that needs to be sorted out. You know, but uh, as I say, not something I intend working on specifically to finish it in one go. Not while I need to do trees still. That about covers it, so well, I'm going to say adieu for now. I'll be back in a couple of weeks with another update. In the meantime, you can obviously check me out on Twitch uh, six days a week at the moment. Um, every day except Monday. Um, times would be... What would this be in Eastern Standard? That's a good question. 6.30 Eastern, maybe, Stein. Go for about two and a half to three hours, depending. Anyway. There we have it. Just a small addendum. Totally forgot to talk about this, but um, I think it was discussed in last week's video. Um, and I, I've now updated to 1.19.4, a new version of Optifine became available. And um, I now have access to the field biome command, which I have used on a large part of the, of the biome to swap it from desert to uh, mangrove swamp. Um, it's a little awkward to use because the biome is stored vertically quite um, dramatically. Um, you know, you go up and up and up and you're still in the biome. Um, and the same is true going down to a certain degree, so swapping it's been a little awkward. Um, this area was skipped in, on purpose because there was no trees here at the point. Um, I initially just used it on the areas where I'd already planted stuff. Um, and I used it haphazardly, partly on purpose, to keep coloration in the leaves. This is why it looks the way that it does. I think it's fairly effective. Um, some areas still need to be done. Um, but yeah, I have been able to make use of it and uh, I'll um, be doing the rest of it as a go.